decide to make a YouTube video and builders start their work and then the rain comes down like this. <sighs> Hello YouTube, uh, this is Thomas again and uh, I'm gonna just cut straight to the point. If you're aware of this then you can kind of maybe click off the video but although I do have some recommendations so if you'd like to hear my own thoughts then keep watching but if you are not aware of this what I'm about to say, then you really need to flick a switch in your mind and realize the situation that you're in, aspiring to be um, an artist uh, or something within the kind of, I guess, creative industry where you produce personal work to sell or kind of present yourself to companies to hire you. So the fact of the matter is you are a business. Um, and if you did not know this going into art, then know this now. You are a business, whether you want to call it you're an entrepreneur, that is the fact of the matter. So why are you a business? So why are you a business, Thomas, you may ask? Um, you basically have to look at your work as your product. You are the business trying to sell your product, which is your work. And whether you sell that to a company to hire you or you know, um, you sell that to uh, obviously an audience or a customer base. That is that's that's the reality. And those who do well at it, those who you know can sell their products, market their products, find the find their customers are going to win, and those who cannot will lose. And no degrees will like no creative degrees are going to go into um, marketing. No creative degrees are gonna go into how to find your customers. No, like my my degree didn't go into, you know, how do you get approached by big galleries? How do you sell yourself to people who can make you money? You know, there's, it's just ridiculous. And this is literally how you survive. <laughs> so what do most people go off and do probably after an art degree or creative degree? They go in, into teaching because they can't do really anything else. Uh, the reason why they're going to teaching is because maybe they weren't aware that they were a business that what they were going into that You know, you have to put in the work and realize that if you're gonna make work You have to either learn how to market that yourself or find someone to market it for you and then slowly grow and work bloody hard because you know as We know today there are so many businesses out there who do not do well um, so you need to really find an intent you need to work hard work smart, um, be really intelligent about the way that you kind of build up your own, I guess, uh, reputation, customers. How are you gonna sell your work? That's, that's the point that I'm trying to make because uh, I don't know if you realize this, but at the end of a fine art degree, there's no companies lining up to you know, hire you to paint those abstract portraits that you did in your third year of university again and again and again for 30, 40,000 pounds a year, like just they don't exist. If you're lucky, then you get a you get an email um, from some gallery that saw you on Instagram because they just, you know, message everyone on the same hashtag. And they're like, yeah, wow, you can submit your piece to this, uh, this, this amazing space that we have. And we'd love for you to exhibit um, in our space. And you're like, wow, really, me? And then you click on the link and they're like, yeah, pay us 250 pounds. And uh, also if you sell the artwork, we're gonna take 20%. And then you're like, yeah, yeah, it's a great way to make money. But you know me, uh, for anyone who's been watching uh, any of my content, I'm always about positivity, optimism, um, being smart about doing things. So how do you go about then becoming this business, improving as a, an entrepreneur, um, well, you need to go to the right places. First of all, you need to really build up your work ethic because if you don't work, you're never gonna get to that dream because I mean, majority of us doing fine art or uh, some kind of creative degree, obviously we have an interest doing a certain thing and the dream is to uh, obviously do that thing for a living. Now, dreams aren't just handed out on a, on a plate, you know, here's, here's your studio and uh, you can just paint here and sell paintings for thousands of pounds and make an easy living. Like, you think that's just easy, like that's end game. People work for 10, 15, 20 years to get where they want to be at in their career. Why, why is it 
Why is it different for fine art? Why is it different for painting? Why is it different for animation? It isn't. And if you're not refining your craft and working to become better and better and better and better every single day, and I'm not just talking about working hard, I'm also about working smart because you can work stupid and that's not going to get you anywhere. Um, <laughs> It's kind of kind of sounded kind of savage, but like it's the reality. It's the reality. If, if you're not, if if you'd rather watch, if you're if you're spending more time watching Netflix every day than you are improving your craft, don't complain when you know in in five years you get nowhere and then you want to blame your art degree for not teaching you how to market yourself when you've done jack for the past five years. So. Okay, enough of that run over, but this is this is how I lecture myself. I mean, I don't have a Netflix subscription, but whatever. I, I, I attack myself when I waste my time and uh, I can hear thunder outside. So uh, the sky is uh, apparently agreeing with me. So as I said, as I said, back, back to positivity. First of all is you have to have complete and utter faith in yourself that you can do this, that you're capable, that you're willing to learn, you're willing to evolve, and you know it's the learning process you need to try and find the right information that will help you develop personally in whatever situation that you're in so i have some recommendations when it comes to the marketing side of things and slash examples of successful people within the artistic community that um, i think that you guys should go and have a look at First of all is regarding marketing, business, all things kind of social media and whatnot because the internet, if you're not using it, you're silly. You should be putting yourself out there. Don't worry about being introvert, extrovert. I'm an awkward introvert, trust me. First time I started filming myself like this and I still, like I managed to edit a lot of the awkward stuff out, okay? so. I used to sit in front of a camera and I used to cringe so much that I couldn't even speak, okay? So even if you just begin by literally planning something, go and sit in front of the camera, you start filming. I remember there's so many videos I didn't do because when I sat in front of that camera, I was just like, mm, like this feels, this feels awkward. But then you know what? I got more comfortable with my thoughts. I got more comfortable with planning. I got, I started interacting with you guys and I realized that when I put this stuff out it's meaningful people responding in a positive way but okay first first example Gary V if you don't know who Gary V is I'm sure some of you will know his stuff's everywhere uh, go and watch his stuff he has amazing kind of optimism positivity but he will slap you back down to earth as well because he'll make you realize that you're not really working that hard at all and you need to work more efficiently, you need to work harder, and you need to stop being stupid. Um, so next up, I'm gonna list some artist channels. So there's Andrew Tischler. I'm gonna actually, I'll put all of their kind of channel names here. Um, we've got Andrew Tischler, who um, he's kind of, in terms of traditional oil painting, uh, you need to go check him out. Uh, I'm just gonna name the artistic channels as an example of successful artists on YouTube because YouTube in itself is kind of a platform that you can do business on, grow an audience, obviously uh, put out valuable content. Not only will you make money from the ad revenue, um, but you can build that personal brand where obviously you can get sponsors and also sell your own products uh, if that's kind of the thing you want to do, whether that be prints, paintbrushes, whatever you do. So there's Andrew Tischler, more on the traditional side of painting. You've got uh, Ethan Becker. He is a very kind of a unique channel, let's say. Um, he's kind of more uh, illustration, animation. Um, he's worked for large companies such as DreamWorks and stuff, but amazing content, very uh, energetic uh, presentation. Um, but the information he gives is invaluable. Also, you've got, uh, recently I came across a guy called Ergo Josh. Uh, his content is also very interesting. Um, one thing I didn't really realize until I started making YouTube videos is people have uh, complimented my voice, saying that my voice is uh, very relaxing. And also I've heard this on kind of TikTok as well. So um, he has a very kind of, 
similar kind of chilled vibe uh, like my own channel I hope to become as big as his channel one day but um, Ergo Josh is another one I'm sure there are more channels out there but I'll be honest with you I don't consume tons of content I just try and make more than I consume and I try and make the most out of the interactions I have with you guys because it's you guys that help build this channel so I just try and put out what's useful when that provides value then great I know I've some, done something good it's like my most recent research video seems like uh, that had has that's had a really positive response um, so I'm really happy with that I'm glad people found that useful I'm gonna do another kind of research video going a bit more in depth of how you can connect kind of primary and secondary research that's in the plan but that's all thanks to you guys asking about how do I research as an artist so please ask more questions in the comments below um, please criticize positively negatively whatever uh, in the comments uh, hit me up on Instagram uh, direct message me follow me on TikTok. do what you can to influence my content because while this community is relatively small I can really answer what you personally kind of want right now basically is uh, you get what I'm saying so thank you for watching the video um, I hope that this was uh, helpful I would advise subscribe follow my journey because as I learn about all of this stuff and document my own journey you will learn as I go along too so thank you for watching thank you for the support and uh, here's the time for my awkward uh, <laughs> bye